<laughs> there is no one beyond hope. I mean, if you had to think about what kind of person in the Old Testament and the ancient world would be the least likely to become a person of faith, high on your list would have to be a Canaanite polytheist prostitute. And yet she came to God. And she becomes this great person of faith. You know what? That gives us all hope. You may have somebody that you've been praying for and you're just about ready to give up. You think, ah, they're beyond hope. Maybe it's a husband, a wife, a brother, a sister, a child. And you're about to give up praying for them. And you've invited them to church a dozen times and you're just ready to give up. Let me tell you, there is no one beyond hope. If a Canaanite polytheist prostitute could be saved, then anyone can be saved. And it may be that you're thinking about yourself. You go, man, I've, I've messed up. There's so much spiritual darkness in my life. I, I could never be a Christian. I wish I could, but I just can't. You don't know what I've done. Ah, uh, but I know what Rahab had done. And yet God forgave her. You are not beyond hope. 